Hey guys, my name is Kanadi, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to draw a cute anime boy. However, before I get into this, I have to tell y'all that I had to do some extensive research in order to feel comfortable and confident in teaching you guys this subject. So let me tell you guys what I did. So I went on what we call the internet and I did some hard, hard, hard research on what the attributes of a cute boy are, what everybody does, what are the trends, and how do they draw them? And I really think I figured out the answer with the research that I collected. So I went to my handy dandy digital notebook and I wrote down all the things that I found and this is what I came up with. Here are the notes, you guys can pause, but I will be referencing back to these notes as I'm telling you guys how to draw, so let's just get on to the step-by-step -step process. So for me, I start off with choosing a brush and then I choose how to do the face. So we're doing a rounder face since you know it's a more cute boy, softer look. Personally, I do the anatomy first so I can get the pose down of what I'm trying to do. But yes, the rounder face gives a cuter, softer look. Now on to the eyes and the mouth. We want to do bigger, more rounder eyes and like a smaller, cute little mouth. I figure out how big I want the eyes. I kind of change them later because they're a little too big here. But once you have a little cute nose and figure out the sizing of your eyes and the mouth, you can move on to the eyebrows. Now, honestly, I didn't know why I found it surprising that they had short, you know, thin eyebrows, but these guys are perfect examples of those, and they're also perfect examples of big eyes, so yeah. For my expression, I did a curious, happy look, but you can honestly do whatever you want with your expression. That is pretty much it for eyebrows. Now on to the hair, it says shortest wavy spiked hair, um, you can do a lot with hair, but I just went with the spiky hair bangs covering his forehead and eyebrows, a little bit over the ears and a little hair behind the neck, just because it's a cute look, and the little hair piece on the top, I don't know what to call that, but you can do a lot with hair, there's so many different things, I can touch on that in a different video if you guys want, so yeah. Last but not least, we got the accessories and clothes. I went with just a baggy shirt. We don't have to do glasses, that's optional. I'm not doing that today. Yeah, clothes are not my strong suit, so I'm sorry. We are doing the infamous scarf. Sorry, the scarf looks kind of whack, but basically add the finishing touches, the cute aesthetics, and that is it. You've got yourself a cute boy. Like and subscribe if you like this video. Thank you so much for watching. Comment down below if you guys have suggestions, and I'll see y'all in the next video.